hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Basically, I got behind this vehicle in uh, one of our known narcotics areas, and right when I got behind him, he started to accelerate at a high rate of speed. I initiated my blue lights, at which point he continued at a high rate of speed. Got behind him, several other officers got into the pursuit with us. He was driving in a real reckless manner. We don't know what he's running for. If he's wanted, if there's guns in the car, drugs. We don't know if he just committed a crime. We don't know what he's running for. So at that point, we're just trying to get the vehicle stopped so we can figure out what's actually going on and handle the situation accordingly. South Carolina, Lima, India, Lima. It's a black and color Hyundai Elantra. Okay, we'll try to get him stopped here. We got a couple units in the chase with us now. It's shocking to me when I first got behind the car and got close enough, I can really get a good look. The vehicle did look familiar. We were in a vehicle pursuit two weeks ago with the same individual in the same vehicle. And once I got him out the car and put him in handcuffs, got a good look at him. And he even said it to me, he said that, you got me again, and I looked and I realized that it was him again. The way, the way he talked the first time, he seemed very remorseful. Um, but, I mean, you saw what happened tonight. He obviously didn't learn from his mistakes. If he made the same exact mistake he made the first time, ran from us again. I, I was in shock. That's the first time I've ever had that, where I've, within a month period, I've chased a vehicle. It was ended up being the same vehicle with the same individual, running for pretty much the same reasons. And he obviously... Didn't learn the first time. Again. Second time. Yeah, man. In less again. Than two weeks. A lesson. Yeah. What are you doing, man? Yeah. I got to work, officer. What did we tell you last time? I mean, what I got to work. I don't know what to do. What happens if you stop? I don't know what to do, man. I mean, mom was very upset. So was the girlfriend. Um, it, the vehicle was hers. If he did any damage to that, that's money out of her pocket. Mom was also upset, saying that. She has to help him now because he's probably going to lose his job. So he's putting his family in a bad spot because now they're going to have to help him pay off these tickets and get himself back on the right path. Mom, I'm sorry, baby. You're killing me, AJ. I'm sorry. It's too much. I know. Can't just keep doing this. I know. I'm sorry, we baby. Had to stop. I'm sorry, baby. We had to stop, AJ. It's done. Whenever we're in a vehicle pursuit, it's, it's high risk for everybody the safety of the individuals that are driving that vehicle, all the officers involved and the public itself. We don't want to chase a vehicle all around the county because that just is more risk to everybody else. The faster we can try to get that vehicle stopped, the safer it's going to be for everybody and get them into custody. So are you going to tell me the truth? Yes, the story is. Okay, then be honest with me and tell me the truth because if you start to lie, I'm going to shut this door. John, Listen, what? listen to me. What? You said you wanted a breath test. Yeah, go ahead. Give okay. me a breath test. Okay, I'm not gonna give you a breath test. I'm gonna give you a breath test. T seed into the railroad thing. Oh, he's gonna hit a car. T seed, T seed at Baker and Foothill. Put your hands to the alarm in your face. Okay, Charlie, taking right with Baker three on the destruction auto. 